Day two at Madex 2021 here in Busan, South Korea. Today we're focusing on new South Korean weapon systems such as the SeaWiz 2 program, the KVLS 2 vertical launch system, and then we'll discuss submarines with DSME, including their proposal for the Philippine Navy. Good morning, the Mr. Xavier. Uh, I'm Commander Kim and Ally next one. 네, 현재 CIWS 2 사업 단장을 맡고 있는 홍성표입니다. Yeah, I'm Mr. Hong. Songpyo, I'm in charge of the CIWS project. What can you tell us about this system? Why are you designing it? Designing it? This is the final shield of the ship. So we need a very quick response against the approaching the enemy missile. So that's why this one is very compact and have everything inside from sensor to shooters, like a radar and a like gun, also this making system. How many radars do you have? Uh on the system, it looks like there's four small radars and a big one on top. Yes, so we have uh, several radars, as you seen on the, the design. So we have a four direction, the surveillance radar for the detection of the, the target. And on a, on a center top, there's a tracker radar. After designated the target, the track radar is a track the target. And radar, and we have another sensors, is a is a, like an electric optic system on it. What is the rate of fire of the cannon? Yes, sir, 4,200 rounds per minute. Can uh, the system uh, intercept uh, new missiles such as uh, supersonic missiles, sea skimming missiles? We can uh, destroy the, the approaching the hostile missile to our ship. The, no matter the advanced one and sea skimming one and the power one, we can do it. Also, not only the missile, also the speedboat. Which uh, type of ship uh, will this be designed? Is it for the CVX project and KDDX? You're right. It's going to be the installed on the, the KDX and CVX and also FFX. So future, the Korean Navy ships, they will have this. The shared always. With the ROK Navy, this is designed to replace the goalkeeper? Uh, for only the, the ROK Navy using the two types of the CIWS, goalkeeper and the phalanx. For the time being, the ROK Navy will use that one, but our system will be on board at the new ship. This is a competition uh, when will DAPA or the MND select uh, a winner in the competition, do you know? Yeah, our government, including the DAPA, will select the, the company the partner company uh, at the end of the July this year. All right, thank you very much. How about winning? Eh? <laughs>
What can you tell us about this uh, vertical launch system? KVS-2 is a new version of a uh, pro Korea naval ship. It is some more capacity and long range and bigger missile system for Korean naval ship. Which type of uh, ships is a KV KVLS-2 design? It is a special design for KDX-2, new naval ship. It can be installed in 2027. Our poorly model is a KVLS-2. A bigger missile and the various kind of missile can be installed in KDDX. What are the main differences between uh, KVLS-1 and KVLS-2? You can see that the KVLS-1 is an 8 module can be installed one system. But KVLS-2 is a 4 modules, bigger. And also the total capacity is, is similar. A bigger missile and more higher launch system. A 4 module is one system and the 8 module is one system. It is the main difference. Have you tested KVLS-2 already? KVLS-2 is now under developing. Yeah. Uh, and this year we start to uh, start to develop KVLS-2. Yeah. And also 2026, uh, we are finished the development and also installed new system for uh, KDX-3. This system is installed 2027. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ivan, can you tell me about your range of uh, submarines on display here at Medex? Okay, uh, I want to show this model first. Uh, this is the KSS-3, which will be delivered within this year to Korean Navy. And the first one, which name is Dosan An Chang Ho, uh, is very famous for uh, we built our own independent design and it's brand new technology, including CMS and the VLS, and also it's got the lithium ion battery and so on. So it will be delivered by this year and the next one, the second one will be delivered by uh, next year, yeah, 2021. Uh, I believe you have the DSME 2000, which was unveiled uh, two years ago at Madex uh, yeah, 2019. Right. Yeah, the same model, but we just modified more. And actually this model is based on that one, the KSS-3. But the size is smaller, but in, inside the equipment and the specification is way better than before. Uh, we are uh, expecting to export this model to other uh, many navies, the international navies. And it's got AIP system also so that it can lead the operation time under the sea more than before. Alright, so you mentioned uh, the export market and uh, a lot of our audience are wondering about the Philippine Navy is uh, okay. intention to procure a submarine force. Mm -hmm. That's a topic that uh, Naval News has covered uh, already quite extensively. So there are two contenders, Naval Group of France and the SME of South yeah. Korea. Can you tell us about uh, your offer to the Philippines? So I believe it's with this submarine design? Yeah, exactly. Uh, regarding Philippine projects, uh, yeah, this model, the DSME 1400 is the model that we hand out to the uh, Philippine Navy on January this year. But including this model, we added some more specification which can meet the requirements of Philippine Navy. And uh, uh, you might know that we had a good opportunity to invite USAC and ASAC of Philippine Navy to our company so they could see and check our facilities in our shipyard and also, as you mentioned before, uh, in the uh, Korean Navy's force command, uh, they could check the uh, facilities for operationing and education system and so on. Yeah. In your opinion, why is the DSME 1400 the right design for the Philippine Navy requirement? Uh, there are several reasons about that, but I think the most important thing is the proven model. Uh, we got uh, more than nine submarines for this class, and the Rock Navy is still using our submarine very well, so it's got the proven design. And also, we have considered the, the environment of the Philippines, and like the, the sea level or uh, stuff like that and considering those that 
we finally decided to introduce this model because it can uh, cover the, all the Philippine Navy's requirements by using this model. Are you proposing the submarines to be built here in South Korea or with your partner in Indonesia? Because of course you have uh, the SME has a great experience uh, in Indonesia with PTPOL for the local production of submarines, and Indonesia was the first country to produce the first country in Southeast Asia to produce locally submarines. In right now, as per the specification and. Uh, the requirement of the Philippine Navy. We are going to build uh, these submarines in our country, the South Korea. The DSME will build everything and then serve to the Philippine Navy. Can you tell us more about your offer in its globality? Are you proposing just the submarines or is DSME or South Korea ready to provide additional services such as training of the future submarine force, through life support, maintenance of the two submarines, uh, maybe construction of the naval base and infrastructures as well? Yeah, of course. Uh, as you mentioned and I mentioned before, just before, just right before, uh, USAC and ASEC went to the Kore Korean Navy's uh, force command. So, thanks to the Korean Navy's cooperation, they could check the know-how to operate uh, these submarines. So, we are going to provide not only the submarine but also education and financing and uh, ILS and so on. That means the total solution package will be provided to the Philippine Navy. Very well, that was uh, very clear. Thank you so much for answering our questions. Thank you so much.